Are they great minds and welcome back to another lesson. So in today's lesson we are talking about the digestive system. So for now you should actually have this diagram drawn in your books and labeled. It is homework so make sure that you guys have a look at it. Also for a lot of the classes I've asked what is the function of the pancreas. So make sure that you write down the function of the pancreas as homework. Okay. Guys, so let's go on and let's talk about some of the keywords. So digestion is the breaking down of large insolvable molecules to solvable ones. Then ingested is basically the removal of undigested matter from the body is known as ingested. Okay, it's just a fancy word for going to number two. Bile, that is a greenish yellow fluid produced by the liver that helps with the breakdown of fats. Okay, so I have spoken to you guys about this before, but that's just touching on it again. So let's move on to health issues related to the digestive system. The first one is ulcers, guys. An ulcer is a sore that can cause severe pain. The pain is usually felt between your breastbone and your belly button and some ulcers may be caused by bacterium um, or other causes could be smoking so guys please I hope none of you guys are smoking and also using painkillers but a lot of the times it's caused by stress okay then the next one for health issues with related to the digestive system is anorexia nervosa this is an eating disorder, guys, that occurs when a pe person eats too little nutritional food. It is a mental illness that causes a person to have an intense fear, intense fear of gaining weight. People who have anorexia usually have a poor self-image. They are generally extremely thin, but when they look at themselves in the mirror, they still see someone who is fat. Okay. They go on a strict diet and eat very little. Medical symptoms include fatigue, muscle weakness, uh, yellowish skin, brittle hair, and osteoporosis. Females who suffer from anorexia may stop their menstrual cycle because they are undernourished. The third one is diarrhea and dehydration. Diarrhea is a condition that it can affect people of all ages. The infected person passes loose watery stools or fecal about three or more times a day. It is usually caused by bacteria in the digestive system which are picked up from dirty water or undercooked food. The dehydration can be a result because the body loses a lot of water. And um, guys, Dehydration is the cause of many infant deaths in Africa. So that's a very, very important one to take note of. Then, liver cirrhosis. Okay. It is not possible to live without a functioning liver. Liver cirrhosis causes irreparable damage to the liver. Scar tissue replaces healthy liver tissue. This eventually blocks the flow of blood through the liver so that it is unable to perform its essential functions. So liver cirrhosis is incurable. The most common cause of liver cirrhosis in South Africa is chronic alcoholism. Alcoholism is an addiction to alcohol, alcoholic substances. Because the liver is involved with processing the alcohol, abuse of alcohol, eventually leads to the damage of liver and guys that's where the video is going to be ending today so in the next video you guys can go and make a little bit of uh, effort yourself and go and do a little bit of research before we start talking about it in class and that's going to be your circulatory system the heart guys that's it for me i'll see you guys in the next video be sure to study for tomorrow's test bye for now